Hi, this is Laura Jocelyn from The Jocelyn Journey. We're following up with a video that several folks have asked us to do about our truck and our Sherp Tech flatbed. For those of you who have watched our channel before, you know that we had a Ram 3500 previously. We decided to upgrade because we were planning on going full time. So we purchased a 2020 Ram 5500 it is a Laramie option, which is definitely more bells and whistles than you need, but kind of what I wanted. It is four wheel drive. We have dual fuel tanks, both 22 gallon and 52 gallon. We also have dual alternators and we opted for the Giganto uh, screen in the cab. We purchased this vehicle back in January of 2020 and it was built and shipped to SherpTech in late March, early April. All right, so on the SherpTech deck, we opted for the marine grade. We used to use a horse mat on our 3500, so this, this kind of is a substitute for that. These rails here are tie-downs um, that we're using uh, for the specific areas. So then we use these for the wedges to guide our camper on it. And you can see where our campers kind of put a white mark. Um, that helps us guide it on. Then also our, our fast guns fastened down to these here and they're fastened in four spots on the flatbed itself. This is the one we use for our, the big fuel tank fuel door. Um, it's the rear tank and basically they're hidden and they're locked uh, so everything is right there. Alright so these are the flank sides. They both they have two locks. Basically unlock these and then it folds down. We also opted to get a bunch of these clips as well. So they're anchor points. Um, we can anchor them on the doors. We can also anchor them on the outside of the door and we can anchor them on the bed. So if you're hauling anything, you can have those available. So it's got an easy lift up and down in the straps to help hold it. It's a pretty sturdy table. If you need to take this off, it comes off fairly quickly. You pop this off, take the straps off, hook them up here let it down and then two people can take this off fairly quickly so Sherptex provides this with the bed regardless of what you order. They're going to put in lights and the DOT side lights. They're all the way along the side, equally spaced. They also put on a bumper. We opted for the parking sensors as well. So we did the bumper thing here. On the host campers, they, the only thing with this, this thing here is the camera. The uh, blank tech tank hose uh, holder is in the way of that. But it, doesn't, it does a pretty good job of watching what's happening with the trailer. So we opted for the torque lift hitch, and then we opted also to have a, uh, for the host, for the cascade off of this truck, we got a 28 inch uh, hitch extension on there as well. So these are the under bed boxes, boxes that were underneath. Um, basically I store all my tools, things that we need on the road. I got shovels, jumper cables, things like that, saws extra water pumps, spare parts, so we keep a lot of that on. And we have four of these boxes, two in the front, in front of the wheels, and then two behind the wheels. So we also had Sherp Tech install um, airbags in the back. We use those mainly to cushion the camper as we're cr cruising over the road. One thing that we found out is using the airbags, it's great on a rough road on a mildly windy day. But if it's really windy, we discovered that taking this and dropping these down to like 15, 10, 15 PSI on a 60 mile an hour wind usually works pretty well. It's pretty stable. We also got all of our upfit switches up here. They wired everything into these. Um, so we don't have to worry about it. But the compressors hooked up into our electrical system. So for the air compressor, um, so we can utilize the air compressor um, hoses and things like that. Um, 
they furnished us with this. Again, it's 150 psi, but uh, it's a quarter inch plug. It looks like a standard uh, I'm gonna get out of the light. standard air compressor fitting. And I'm getting yelled at because I'm in the light. <coughs> All right, one of the options we did choose to get was the 100 amp alternator charger. Uh, the breaker and the relay is shown here. We're using a Victron Cyrix uh, controller and uh, instead of using a DC to DC controller, this is enabled by a switch in the dash. And this was a late addition to our build with SherpTech. Uh, we decided to add this buck stop front bumper uh, really close to the end. We saw it online and thought, wow, that really looks fantastic. We ended up getting a slightly different version than we saw, but this seems to go really well with the front lighting on the Ram truck. This one also has a worn winch on there, so hopefully, um, we can get ourselves out when we get stuck. Great um, LED lighting that was added as well. Uh, just a great addition. Uh, again, not anything you needed, but something we are very grateful to have. It does have a front hitch. I don't expect us to use that. Gary is not really fond of using any type of front hitch options. We also got the tire balancing system. It keeps our dualies at equal pressure, um, so we can keep them at 95. Both will keep them at 95. So if we have one tire blow out, that valve in there will instantly shut off to, to that tire that's le leaking air and keep the other tire full of air, so that way we can still keep moving. The big item was is I can fill it right here versus not having to go and try to uh, be stretch arm strong or have another plug out there. I can just do one plug and it fills up both tires at the same time. So the other the other add-on we did have an add-on that really wasn't fond of the cheesy Chrysler uh, sway bar is uh, putting the big hail leg in for the sway bar on this as well. Between that and the airbags I think this eliminates all the sway from the campers as much as it can. Our 3500 used to wave back and forth a little bit. This handles curves, it handles wind, it handles... I, I get very little sway. Even when we hit big potholes, I get very little sway out of the, the truck at all. So, And I'm gonna, not freaking out as much either. Yeah, and <laughs> she's not yelling at me that I'm going too fast. So. Well, that's our quick overview of our truck and Sherp Tech system. If you have any questions, just uh, uh, let us know down in the comments, and we'll try to get back to you. Thanks. Thanks for, thanks for watching. Bye.